Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be revealing how much money I have spent on Louis Vuitton from the inception of my first piece. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So first, I just wanna preference this video by saying this is not bragging. In fact, when I saw the price, I thought to myself, do you know what I could have bought for this amount of money? But I will just go on record by saying that I feel like I have one of the smallest collections of Louis Vuitton and I don't have this huge collection and it's okay if you do, but I was just surprised at the amount that I actually have spent to date on Louis Vuitton. And so it hasn't been all at once. So today I just want to go through the years of my purchases and how much I spent that year and then give you a total of what I spent to date. So let me put my readers on. So the first year that I became interested in Louis Vuitton was in 2017. So in 2017, I bought four pieces. And I will go ahead and do a split screen so that you can see which pieces I'm talking about. And so the first purchase that I made in 2017 were on the same date. And they were for my Neverfull MM in the Provoni. And then also my Pochette Felici. I wanted to buy those the same color. And I know that I just did a video on items that I would sell if I needed to or wanted to or just don't use anymore. And my Neverfull was one of them. And this is a Neverfull MM. And when I really started looking at the pouch, which I mentioned to you all that I rarely use this little pouch. This is just a charm. It's not Louis Vuitton. But I was just kind of playing with it to see what I could do to make it more appealing to me to want to use it. And so I just put that little charm there. Like I said, this is from eBay. It's not authentic. But I just thought it kind of gave it a little cute look. But... This is in the Provoni, and then I also bought my Pochette Felici in the Provoni. And I thought, you know, those two pieces would match together with this item. So it also comes with a pouch and then the credit card. And I thought, well, I can just put those in here if I wanted to carry cash and my credit cards. Now, this also can carry cash or checks or whatever you'd like and so i thought would this fit in here and they do they just slip right in and i thought that would be neat to be able to just use this when we go out of town put my credit cards and stuff in there whenever we get to go out of town again and use it like that so i thought that was really neat that i could put these two pieces in here and use them also with this item. And so when I bought my first Louis Vuitton, I definitely wanted to match my pieces. In 2017, when I bought these two items, that's what I had in mind to be able to use them together. Of course, years after having them, I just forgot that I could do that. <laughs> so the other two items that I bought in March of 2017 were my Zippy Coin Purse in the Damir bin and my Kaisa clutch. And again, I bought those two items to match together. I really don't have a lot of the Damir bin pattern because it's not one that I gravitate to. And so that zippy wallet was one of the items that I said I would be willing to sell. And I am because I just don't use it. It's too small for me. It's not functional for me. And so, so those were the other two pieces that I purchased in 2017. And so when I do the math, and I'll include that here, I paid $1,260 for my Never Full. I paid $995 for my Pochette Felici. 
I paid $19.70 on the Kaisa clutch and then $390 for the Zippy wallet for a total of $4,615. So then in 2018, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I went crazy in 2018. I bought eight items in 2018. So the first item I bought was my Trossel Toiletry 25. And I bought that in February. And then I bought my Cherry Wood in April. And then I bought my Alma Nano bracelet in June. My City Guide in May. And then I bought the coin purse. And then I bought my pochette accessory mono monogram. And then in December, I bought my Victoire or Victory in the newer and the pocket organizer in December. So let me go ahead and add those up. I sure did spend quite a bit in 2018. So the toiletry was $650. The cherry wood was $2,050. The Alma bracelet was $345. The travel guide was $37. The coin purse was $260. The pochette accessory mono monogram was $490. And the Victoire was $2610. The pocket organizer was $350. And then we move into 2019, $6,792 for 2019. Or rather 2018. Okay. And in 2019, I only bought three things. Good thing because I spent a lot of money in 2018. So in, that was my no buy year. <laughs> so maybe that's helped me cut down a little bit. My... Pochette Felici, my Luggage Horizon 55, my On The Go Tote were the three items that I bought in 2019. So I might have not bought a lot of things, but they sure were expensive. So my Pochette Felici in the Demir Azure was... 11.80 my horizon luggage was 29.80 and my on the go tote was 24.80 isn't that interesting how there was an 80 in all of those three items for 2019 six thousand six hundred and forty dollars for 2019 so even though i bought less i bought more expensive items in 2019 and so that brings us to the current year where i have bought four items i have bought my key pouch in january of 2020 i recently bought my vondalia strap I bought my belt and I bought a six ring key pouch. And so the bandolier and the belt, I believe I bought in February. And then the six key pouch I bought in March. And so let me add those up. Okay, so the key pouch monogram was 205. The bandolier strap was 495. The belt was 757. And the key pouch was 260. So, so far this year, I have spent 1,534.
35. $1,535. And so, as you may or may not know, I did buy a bum bag for my husband that, that I will include in my total, but I will include in my total after the total that I have spent the past four years at Louis Vuitton. <sighs> Feel like I need to take a deep breath for this. Okay, <sighs> here we go. I do want to make note that the Victoire or the Victory I bought at a pre-loved shop and I say $510 the trussel toiletry 25 i also bought at a resale shop for 270 dollars so total that saved me 890 dollars and so it's good when people say to buy pre-love definitely try to buy pre-love if that's the route you want to take but for me, I really enjoy the experience, going into the store, doing my research, knowing what I want to buy and saving up for it and having a budget. And the unpackaging and just going through the process of seeing the item again after you've purchased it in store and coming home and unboxing it. And for us, we always had to go out of town and then come back in town. And so the unboxings were always nice for me to do and to share with you all. Again, I am humbled to, to the highest degree to have been able to purchase all of these items and I'm thankful for my collection and I'm thankful that it's an investment that as I mentioned, pieces that I want to sell, I can sell and get the majority of my money on. Most of my items have increased in price currently they are more expensive and that's beneficial for me in the process of reselling. So just to not keep you hanging on anymore, the total that I have spent for Louis Vuitton, $19,582. Wow. In four years. in four years time I have spent that much money on Louis Vuitton and now if I include if I include my husband's bum bag which was $1,970 total we have spent $21,552 on Louis Vuitton and so what I do is I keep up with all of my purchases on a spreadsheet and I do that so that I know how much I've spent and I don't have to go fumbling through and looking to see how much and when did I buy my items. I know year for year. I even know the month. I know the name of the product. I know the, the code. I know how much the exact price was that I paid. As I mentioned, I did save eight hundred and ninety dollars buying pre-loved which actually brings our total to twenty thousand six hundred and sixty three dollars and also if i take off my husband's bum bag brings my total to eighteen thousand six hundred and ninety two dollars and so i trust me i know i look at the amount and i think wow i could have bought so many things I could have um there's there's a lot that you can do with that amount of money but I didn't spend that amount of money in one shebang this was a four year accumulation of items that I purchased items that I really liked and that I wanted and items that I really do try to use on a daily basis and so I know I've, I know I've said this before and I continue to say it again and again, but I feel like I have a complete 
collection. I have luggage. I have travel bags. I have purses. I have accessories. I have everything that I could possibly need in the collection that it will really take a special piece for me, a special piece for me to want to purchase anything else. Now, I have always had my eye on the Giant Speedy, on the Nano Speedy. Those are ones that I kind of have had my eye on, but that I missed. I missed the boat on those. They're not available for sale. The Speedy Nano, I could probably put myself on a list, but I'm really happy, as I mentioned before, with my little Michael Cords that's similar to the Speedy. And so, you know, it's it's all in what's going to be functional for you, what you're going to be able to use, what you feel like you will use on a daily basis. I've not tapped in much into the jewelry from Louis Vuitton. I'm not tapped much into any of the ready wear or fashion wear. I've There's a lot of Louis Vuitton that I haven't explored, nor do I have a desire to. I feel really happy with my collection. I have the SLGs that I want. I have the bracelet that I wanted when I wanted it. And I have the belt as an accessory. That's the only accessory from Louis Vuitton that I wanted. And so I don't really feel a need to purchase anything, but never say never. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.